Signatures of the moment. Reminder of the history. Inspiration of generation. Statues. Hello and welcome to Z. Don't forget to subscribe. In the year 2022, everyone ought to put seeing famous monuments all around the world on their bucket list because these works of art are breathtaking. Since the dawn of time, the most impressive manifestations of human ingenuity in the field of architecture have been statues, or before. These extraordinary pieces of art, which were created in ancient, medieval, or modern times, communicate, in a manner that is very understated, the highest quality that was available during their respective eras. These world-famous statues, whether they are rock-cut works from prehistoric eras or some of the finest but massive monolithic pieces from medieval times, have intrigued tourists and archaeologists the most. Some of these statues date back to medieval times, while others date back to prehistoric eras. In addition to that, throughout the course of time, these sculptures have acquired a certain amount of reputation, which is fitting given the subject matter. There are well-known statues located all throughout the world. Together, these statues have done an excellent job of conveying the significance of the site in which they are currently situated, as each of these statues is distinct and striking in its own right. It is of the utmost importance that you complete all of the items on your list as quickly as you can. Take a look at some of the statues that are considered to be among the most famous in the world today. Always keep one ear open. One, the iconic Statue of Liberty, which is found in the heart of New York City. The people of France sent the United States of America a gift in the form of the Statue of Liberty, which is widely considered to be one of the most well-known statues and sculptures in the whole wide world. Since 1886, the United States of America has been the owner of the statue, and ever since then, it has been and will continue to be used as a representation of democracy and freedom. After some time had passed, the statue's copper torch was replaced with a 24-karat gold torch, which is visible from quite a distance away. Initially established in 1886. The weight of the Statue of Liberty is 225 tons, its height is 305 feet and 6 inches, there are 154 stairs that run from the head to the pedestal, and the inscription on the tablet reads, July for MDCCLXXVI. These are the most well-known elements of the statue, July 4, 1776. To reach the Statue of Liberty promptly, you can either depart from Battery Park in New York City or Liberty State Park on one of the ferries. This is the quickest and most convenient route to get there. Two, the Christ the Redeemer Basilica located in Rio de Janeiro. Between the years 1922 and 1931, the monument known as Christ the Redeemer was built in Rio de Janeiro using concrete and soapstone. Its construction took place during those years. It is widely acknowledged as being among the most well-known statues in all of the countries of the entire world. Within the boundaries of the Tijuca Forest National Park is where you'll find the statue. It may be situated atop the mountain known as Corcovado. It is widely acknowledged to be among the most significant tourist destinations not only in Brazil but also across the entirety of South America. 1931 was the year that completion was achieved. The height of Christ the Redeemer is 30 meters, not including the 8-meter pedestal, its arm stretch is 28 meters, and its weight is 635 metric tons. These are the elements of the statue that are the most well-known. 
taking a train that leaves immediately from the Cosme Velho station in Rio de Janeiro and travels in the direction of Christ the Redeemer is going to be the most convenient approach to reach your destination. There is a consensus among most people that taking the train to go to the statue affords the most beautiful views of any of the other transportation alternatives that are available. Three, Little Mermaid, Denmark. The bronze monument may be found in Copenhagen, Denmark, on the Langelany Promenade. It is placed on a rock that is rather close to the water's edge. The statue, which is a great example of art and was sculpted by Edward Erickson, is another of the well-known sculptures that can be found all over the world and ought to be viewed by everyone. The statue can be found in the city of Trondheim, Norway. Opening date, 1913. These are some of the most well-known measurements of the Little Mermaid statue. It stands 1.25 meters tall and weighs 175 kilos. How to get to the Little Mermaid Getting to the Little Mermaid shouldn't be too difficult if you are coming from the central business district of the city. The statue is located at a port that is located to the north of Copenhagen's old area. It rests atop a rock in the port. This place is accessible on foot or through the use of the nation's extensive network of public transportation from practically every part of the country. Four. A monument located in Russia printed with the words, Motherland Calls, on the front. The massive statue that can be seen in Russia was created as a memorial to the Battle of Stalingrad when it was first fought there. The structure stands at a height of 85 meters and may be seen on the bank of the Volga River. On Mamiev Hill, which is also the site of a memorial to the battle troops who lost their lives fighting there, it was built. A large number of sculptors from all over the world find it to be a source of inspiration due to the unique character of its structure, which poses a challenge to the geometry. It is a statue of a mother, or motherland, who is encouraging her sons to take up weapons and fight for their country as she walks while holding a sword above her head. To honor the fact that the conflict lasted for a total of 200 days, the statue required visitors to ascend a total of 200 stairs before they could reach its summit. The statue was constructed as a memorial. The movement of the groundwater, which is shifting the foundation in turn, is thought to be the cause of the small leaning that has been seen in the monument. This was discovered after it was discovered that the statue was tilting slightly to the left. 1967 was the year it was completed. The place in question is the Mamiev Kurgan, which may be found in Volgograd, Russia. 5. The Great Sphinx of Giza, which is located in the desert of Egypt. The Great Sphinx of Giza is an enormous piece of artwork that is widely recognized as being among the most recognizable statues in the entire globe. Limestone was used in its creation, and it is in the shape of a human head that is superimposed on the body of a very large lion. You should go there to see it when the sky is a burnt orange color and the sun is sending golden rays over the massive monument. This is the most beautiful time of day to view the structure. When you take into account the massive pyramids that are located in the background, you are presented with one of the most stunning evenings that anyone has ever witnessed. It is estimated that it was built somewhere around the year 2500 BC. The Great Sphinx of Giza is known for having several prominent traits, including the following, before 1905, the entire body of the Sphinx was obscured by sand, but now people are able to see it in its entirety. The Great Sphinx is a single ridge of limestone that is 73 meters in length and 20 meters in width and was carved out of the bedrock of the Giza Plateau. 
It is one of the world's largest statues made out of a single piece of stone. The Great Sphinx of Giza can be approached in a number of different methods, including the following. From Midden to Rear, you have the option of taking a bus or a taxi to get to the pyramids. The main square of Cairo, known as Midden to Rear, can be found at the very center of the city. In addition to serving as a hub for the city's public transportation, Midden Tahrir is also home to the Egyptian Museum. When you reach this location, you will have the opportunity to travel to the Sphinx and the Pyramids either camel or horseback, depending on your preference. Which Om is your favorite? Drop it on the comments section. Thank you for being with us.